Sometimes, a game comes along that is as confounding as it is profound. In this age of indie exploration, there are many developers who are looking to push the artistic boundaries of their audience. It's already been made clear that games can create a sense of adrenaline and excitement, but what other emotions can they delve into? How else can they feed the intellect? Rehearsals and Returns is a game for those who would ask these kinds of questions. It's an experiment in interactive media that might just show us a hidden part of our humanity. On face value, Rehearsals and Returns is a simple platforming game, but it's what happens between the dashes and the jumps that really matters. Each stage is named after a specific person, whether that be a historical figure, a modern iconoclast, or someone from the player's personal life. Once inside, the player is tasked with collecting word balloons that represent both love and hate. Each balloon contains an individual phrase that the player can use at the end of the level, but they're also important because they allow them to jump higher and thus access even further collectibles. Once they've navigated the minimalist landscape, they are met by the level's namesake. This could be your dentist, or your boss, or Albert Einstein, or Pussy Riot. The game really tries to introduce characters that will induce a visceral reaction that you can't help but have an opinion about. So when they ask you how you're feeling, you can respond with one of the responses you've collected, whether that be love, hate, or wisdom. What follows is a moment of sometimes brutal and sometimes heart-wrenching honesty. The statements are brief, but often powerful, and they'll move you more than you know, especially as the game introduces friends, family, and other people who you've surrounded yourself with. Rehearsals and Returns isn't so much a game as it is an experience. There's no strategy and no defined mechanic, but it manages to ooze theme and mood, especially during the penultimate sequence when you face someone you'd never expect. In some ways, Rehearsals and Returns is a social experiment. It actually collects your responses as data so it can compare it to everyone else who's played. How many people have had a negative response to Michelle Obama or a positive response to Julian Assange? It displays this information for you at the end of the game, really helping to show you how your opinion differs from others. But this isn't some cold act of scientific study. It's a truly emotional experience that would belong as much in an art gallery as it does in your living room. The game's visuals are muddied and jagged, even a bit amateurish, but this helps to create a sense of psychological ambiguity. It's a cohesive art style that, while not technically impressive, really does help to evoke the world of the game. The score is equally successful, with light piano flourishes and psychedelic electronic music propelling you through each level. This fusion of sight and sound makes rehearsals and returns feel meditative and relaxing, really allowing you to think about these conversations that you've never had. However, I do wish that the game gave you a few more options in terms of what to say, and maybe even made these conversations more complex. Really, these are simple opinion statements and nothing more, and I'd like to see what the developers could do with a more complicated system. Luckily, the game does come with several alternative editions that will allow you to speak with people you wouldn't in the original. It's short enough that all of these experiences can probably be played in less than two hours, making this the perfect game to try in between others. But ultimately, Rehearsals and Returns is a game for a very specific kind of audience. You have to be willing to take a few chances, to take a few risks, because this is not a traditional gaming experience. However, if you're willing to approach it with an open mind, Rehearsals and Returns will give you insight into who you are as a person, or at the very least, will stimulate your mind with interesting questions. We are giving Rehearsals and Returns 7 word balloons out of 10.